So, we are now in the process of spot welding in the mag housing. And what you're seeing here is the same fixture that we used to do the initial op one of machining on the completed uh, spot welded receiver. You'll notice that on this we have two grooves up here. And this is set at a specific angle. That angle is the same angle as necessary for the mag housing to set in the receiver so that uh, we have a proper feed on the gun. So the first step on this is to put a receiver that we've spot welded. Now, keep in mind that the VG15 was a predominantly handmade gun, and there was a lot of hand fitting in the process at the time. He taps the receiver onto the block, and he's going to have to do a fair amount of touch up. And this is because the, while the receiver was machined, it's sheet metal pressings and, and you're going to have to do the touch up work to go to the next phase. So now that we've done the grinding, it's time to fit the mag well into the receiver. You notice that they're marked with a T for top, that way this only goes in one direction and one direction only. And there's a certain amount of touch and go on the fitting to see if it lines up. A little more regrinding, a little more fitting. And it's brought down so that it matches up on the inside of the receiver with the housing. You can see it on the front. And on the back. So now that we know that we've had it set, this mag housing is set properly in the receiver at the proper angle for feeding, we can then take it to the spot welder. And just do a little bit. We want to make sure that it's snug on the front of the receiver. Now we're at the spot welder. Each side spot welded five times, giving us a good, a good fit up and, and uh, weld between the mag housing and the uh, receiver body itself.